Hey guys, what's up? Remember Moldy the Slime Mold? This is the clone I made. I put some of it inside some agar in this little container here and a little bit of uh, oatmeal and that's what they eat. So I'm gonna move it again. We're gonna put it into some new containers. So I'm gonna try to split it up into even more pieces. As you can see, he's been moving around here. Probably wants out of this container at this point. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up here a bit so you can see it. So this is what it's looking like inside of the cup at this point. Looks like they ate away at all of the oatmeal there. And then also on the lid, as you saw, there's like a whole growth on there as well. I should probably move this out of the way so you can see it better. There you go, against the black. How cool is that? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put in another couple pieces of oatmeal in here for this one. And I'll clean the other stuff out later if I have to, but let me go ahead and move a piece into these containers so you guys can see what I'm doing. All right, so I got my soldering iron here and I'm going to basically just put a couple holes in the lid for the containers so um, I can put some micro pour tape there. So I haven't tried this yet. Let me get this out of the sun so it doesn't fry. Um, I haven't tried this yet with these containers. This is going to be the first time I put the micro pour tape on it. And I don't know if it's going to help or make it worse. We will see. Here's what I'm doing. I'm just taking this hot soldering iron, putting a couple holes here. That's that should be good. And then I'm going to go ahead and put some of this micro pour tape on there and we'll see if this makes the growth faster slower if it doesn't do anything at all we'll find out going to maybe take a piece of the oat and use that maybe get a piece of it over here yeah that ain't working all right let me just do it with the scalpel here i already disinfected it by putting it under heat And what I found last time I did this, I didn't take much. I didn't have to put a lot of it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put this in the center. I'll put a little piece of oat there with it too. And that's it. So that's all it looks like. I got a little dot there in the middle with the piece of oatmeal. And then I got another piece up here on the oatmeal at the top. I'm just going to go ahead and close it up. And I'm going to leave it out here in room temperature, not in the sun. Oh, I should add the date to that too. This is our July 4th clone. And the next one I'm doing is actually kind of interesting. So what I did was I got the 
agar again, but this one is colored. And we're going to see if there's a preference in which way it goes color-wise. So let me go ahead and spread out some of the oatmeal on there and all the different colors, and then we'll get started. All right, there we have it. Let me go ahead and move a piece into there. I'll get a bigger piece here. And we'll put this right in the center. On the oat. And then I'll take another little piece and put it on the bottom part of it. All right, and then from there, let's see what happens. Today's July 4th. I'll go ahead and mark that. You know, I already said that. I'll say it again. And we'll leave this one without the micropore tape since we already know that the other one did well without it. All right, as soon as I have an update for you guys, I'll let you know. There's one other thing I wanted to show you. I just wanted to do a little quick update here on the vivarium so I can show you what's going on. So this is where the uh, the slime mold actually started out. You know, it was just growing on the side of the glass. I already cleaned off where it left markings. But anyway, let's move this over here so that you can get a better visual of what's going on. It's too bright over there right now. The sun's beaming right in through the window. It's early in the morning. So there's mycelium that I put in here that I found outside and it grew. Um, it actually, when I first started seeing it growing, it was growing on the bottom here. I was seeing it trying to get to the water and it used to go pointing down and cause there's water that uh, pools down here with the charcoal and the rocks. But now it's starting to climb up inside the substrate and it decided to climb up on the branch. Now, I don't know if this is mycelium mixed with the slime mold or if it's just the mycelium i know that those little lines and all that stuff there that's all the mycelium but why i question it is because if you look right here it looks like the slime mold is there with the mycelium uh down here that's mycelium for sure those little tiny hairs down there um i thought that that might be the slime mold but you can tell it's not when you look closer but there's all this other stuff with it, and I that doesn't look like mycelium. So I'm thinking that that might be the slime mold and the mycelium together on this piece of wood. And they're just devouring it. And originally, there were a bunch of little gnats in there. Well, gnat larvae. And if you've never seen gnat larvae, look them up. They are crazy. And when they there's a video that's been going viral of them all leaving... Uh, a spot all together and they look like weird aliens crawling around on see let me see if I can find any of them here on the wood I see something small there in the bottom right corner walking around on the branch there's definitely a lot of stuff living in here oh there's another one there are those some sort of mite I don't even know what those are I'm gonna have to get a closer look later under the microscope or something uh, let's see what else is going on in here. There's some little red dots, too, and that might be slime mold. Uh, all that stuff that's there on the side of the branch that looks like little black flaky stuff could just be decomposition from everything eating. Oh, there's one of the springtails. Maybe that's what that little thing was. It was a springtail as well, just smaller, so it didn't look like one to me. Um, anyway, this is what I wanted to show you. Uh, vivarium is doing well. There's a lot of new life that I didn't notice originally in here. Uh, most of the gnat larva, uh, turned into gnats and flew out. I put a lid on it that has a fan so I can plug in a battery and just have it running some oxygen in there. Get some airflow since I noticed on my mycelium. Alright guys, 
Have a good rest of your day and your 4th of July, and I'll see you guys.